biggest mistakes that visitors make when visiting Singapore is missing out on the most delicious and the most affordable food at the hawker centers. I mean, it does look overwhelming. There's so many people, so many shops. How do I even order? Do they even speak English? After watching this video, you'll be able to walk into any hawker centers and eat like a local. Let's begin. First, what's a hawker center? Let me show you what a typical one looks like. You'll see rows of shops, common sitting area, outdoor with no air conditioning, and usually with a traditional wet market beside it. Definitely not your comfy, fancy restaurant, but I assure you, this is the best place you can get food in Singapore. Just look at how many shops you can choose from and the value in each of the price points. You can easily get a decent meal in under $10. Definitely the most bang for your buck for food in Singapore. Now, let me show you how to find a hawker center to satisfy your hunger for local food. There are 121 hawker centers in Singapore to choose from, but I'm gonna make it easier for you. I've compiled all our hawkers that made it into Michelin Deep Gourmand into this one single Google Map bookmark. I've also included the unit number of the hawker and the dish that you should order. So for example, if you're looking for the minced meat noodles at the Hong Lim Park Hawker Center, just look at the unit number 0216. Once you've reached the hawker center, simply look out for the unit number. The front 02 usually means it's at the second floor. Wherever you are, you can just flick out this bookmark and check out where is the nearest Michelin Hawker Center that you can eat at. Now, let's get some food. Welcome to Hong Lim Hawker Center. This is the home of six hawkers that made it into the Michelin Beep Gourmet. Before we order our food, let me share with you a story about how our hawkers are often misunderstood as rude. When my sister came to visit from Australia, I brought her to a hawker center for lunch. She went to this popular noodle store to get her food. There was a line, but it didn't take long until it was her turn to order. And this is how she ordered. Hi, how are you? Do you have any recommendation on what's good to eat? And of course, the auntie just replied back with the question. What you want to order? When my sister came back, she was so upset. So in a glance, you might think, Wow, Singaporeans are so rude. But let's think about it from the perspective of the hawker auntie. You want to serve your long line of customers who are waiting to buy food as fast as possible. But then, there's this woman asking you questions, holding the line. Of course, she could be nicer about it, but this is the norm in the very fast-paced hawker center in Singapore. A lot of times, shopkeepers are very straightforward. So, for your own best experience, if you see a long line, try your best not to take too long to make your order. Just come to the shop, order your food, make payments, do all that with minimal chit-chatting. Also, most hawker centers do not support credit card payments. So, bring some cash if you're planning to visit a hawker center. Minimally, you want to budget $5 per person per meal, but I recommend having $10 as to not limit your food options. Personally, I love eating out with my friends at the hawker centers because each of us will just get something different and we share. That way, we all get to try a lot of things without being too full. Now, let's go and order our food. Beware, you might see a long line at some of the popular hawkers. Depends on the shop, the queue might be 30 minutes to one hour. If you find this video helpful or it makes you hungry, please leave a like so that more people can find it. Thank you very much. While our food is in the kitchen, let me tell you a little bit more about hawker history. Hawker centers are actually a very recent idea in Singapore. Back in our earlier days, food vendors, also called hawkers, used to just set up shops along the streets. However, over time, they caused a lot of congestions and hygiene problems. You can imagine a lot of food waste and no management. Eventually, they became public health concern. So, Singapore decided to build hawker centers and relocate the hawkers into the hawker centers and help them with food operations and waste management. You might also see similar sites in shopping malls under the brands such as Kofu, Kopitiam or Food Republic, but those are considered food court. The major difference is, hawker centers are managed by NEA, which is a branch of the Singapore government, and the hawker stores are privately rented and operated by the hawker himself. As for food courts, they are usually managed by an FNB chain. The stores in these food courts are often food franchises operated by employees. But you can also find entrepreneurial hawkers here. 
So which one is better? Well, it depends. If you're looking for a more comfortable and air-conditioned area to eat in, then you might like the food courts better. But their energy bill is reflected in the food prices. Food-wise, I actually prefer hawker centers because the competitive nature of hawker centers and also the passion of running your own kitchen often produce better results. Looks like our food is ready. Let's go and collect it. All right, we got our food, but now what? Don't stress, just find an empty seat and have your food there. But watch out for tables with things laid out on them. Usually you can find tissue paper, water bottles, or business cards. Those tables are choked. This is how us locals reserve our tables at the hawker centers. So don't go around sweeping them off. In fact, you can do the same. Just take something of low value, like a water bottle, put it on the table before you order your food. So far, people have been very respectful of these customs. So go ahead and give it a try. Now, enjoy your meal. You can also always find toilets in every hawker centers, though some of them might charge you a minimal entry price. And don't worry, the public toilet is not the cleanest, but it's very, very usable. Let me tell you the secret why hawker centers are so affordable. Number one, there's no air conditioning. You can find a few fans around, but you know in Singapore, fans are not enough to beat the heat. There is also very minimal customer service. When you order your food, don't expect the food to be delivered to you. You'll have to come and pick it up yourself. And after you're done eating, you have to put back your used plates and calories to the return points. Honestly, I don't mind it at all because if I can save one dollar or two just by doing things myself, I'd love to do it. Just take notes, if you bought from a halal store, you will need to return your tray to the halal return point. One concern that I often hear is, oh no, I don't know how to use a chopstick. How am I gonna eat in Singapore? Don't worry, in Singapore, you can always find fork and spoon. Also, if you're not comfortable with spicy food, don't worry. In most shops, you can ask for no chili or less spicy. I recommend going for at least less spicy because sometimes the chili are the ones that gives the most flavor. Wow. Now, after having a good meal, you might want a drink. I myself like to have an Americano after lunch. But if you go to a Singaporean drink store and say, Hi, one Americano please, you'll get a what? In Singapore, you need to order your drink in Singaporean. Don't worry, it's super easy. You just need to learn a few suffixes and you'll get your fix. Let's start with learning how to order coffee. In Singapore, coffee is kopi. Kopi. By default, your kopi will come with milk. So if you want it black, you say kopi o. You want it without sugar, you say kopi o kosong. You see, you just add on the suffixes to what you want your order to be. Now, you want it iced? Say, kopi o kosong ping. Now, you want tea instead? Then, just swap out kopi with te. And you'll get te o kosong ping. For convenience, these are the typical orders that people usually make. Congratulations! You are now a Hawker Centre expert ready for full adventure in Singapore. Next, you can check out this video to see what a top-rated Michelin Hawker Centre looks like in Singapore. I'll see you there. That chicken, this chicken,